But you wanna get some grub, we're gonna get ugly on a camera. We'll see you guys there. What's going on guys? It's King Tut Pro back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a phase banks uh, intro kind of thing. Now, guys, before I get into the actual tutorial, I do want to mention that the intro is not going to look exactly like Phase Banks intro, of course, because we are limited to what we can do in Final Cut Pro 10. But we are going to be using one plugin. It is a paid plugin, but still, you can get the amazing, amazing result. But you can still get the effect in Final Cut Pro 10. The only reason I'm doing this tutorial is because you guys requested it, so I decided why not make it. So I'm going to show you guys Phase Banks intro right now and show you guys what it looks like and then I'll show you guys my version of it. Yeah. So right there is Fangs Banks intro looks very nice it's called M Transition Zoom so be sure to download that and install it it isn't for free but there are other transitions that you guys can use to replicate the effect it's only the up and down transition so all right guys so let me go and show you guys my version of his intro. You want to get some grub we're gonna get ugly on a camera we'll see you guys there. I tried my hardest, but I don't know. I think, I mean, it still looks good. So this is a couple of pictures that I added into the timeline in Final Cut. And I'm pretty sure he added that as well. So it kind of makes it look more like it's his vlog of kind of import like five, four pictures of yourself. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and add our text. Now, the text is also free. The link will be down in the description. It's called Surfing Capital. And I'm gonna go on to the text right here and go to the titles and go down and look for custom. Drag that on top of your footage or your pictures, whatever you're gonna be using. And in this case, we wanna go ahead and trim it down to five frames. So zoom in onto your timeline and go onto five frames. So around here would be good. The reason we have to do our text first is very important. The reason for that is because when we add our transitions, we have a placeholder, kind of like a placeholder pretty much to cut the zoom or kind of like the transitions if not it's going to be very chaotic in adding the transition so we always have to add the text first and make four more copies so just paste them i'm gonna go into the text so if i can there we go king and then i'm gonna scroll down and where you see font we're gonna go ahead and change that to surfing capital now surfing capital is a very heavy font this will probably freeze up final cut pro 10 and it will probably freeze uh, your computer when you install the font for some reason. I don't know why, but it's really annoying. I hope they fix it and just drag this to the middle to it until it snaps in place. That's when you know it's in the middle. Go ahead and just bring the size up a little bit, but not too much. I'm gonna go ahead and just press Command C and I'm gonna make five copies. There we go. And they're all gonna be the same, but nothing's happening. So go into the stylized effects, go down and look for the handheld. So it just gives it that movement. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drag that onto the first text here. I think we're gonna do a prism effect on this one. So we're gonna do that right now since we're already in this. So go onto the all, so go into all video and just type in prism, drag that on here. And this will give you that RGB split kind of thing. And it looks pretty cool to me. It's bad TV, so drag that onto the first text as well. Uh, from here, we're gonna just change the amount. We can go ahead and increase it or decrease it. I like to go something like that. We're gonna go ahead and just apply all of this onto the rest of the text. So once you highlight them, press Shift Command V. And this will bring up the paste attributes and it will tell you what you want to copy. Click on paste. Another thing that we can do, of course, is add the actual movement for the text. And that's what makes it look really, really nice. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go on to the transitions. In the transitions, go to the M Transition Zoom plugin. It will give you a couple of different ones. We have custom, we have pre-animated, which is the ones we're gonna be working with. So scroll down and look for the slide down and slide up. So we're gonna drag that there. Now the reason we added the text there is because this will allow us to drag the transition and have it so it's perfectly aligned with the text. And that will be aligned perfectly with five frames. If not, that's gonna be very, very hard to do. So we're gonna go ahead and just go side up so it's gonna slide up and then we're gonna go ahead and have it slide down again. So click on the slide down option, drag that down here, and we're gonna change that to fit this one right here, just like that. So slide up, slide down, and then we're gonna go ahead and do slide up again. We're gonna drag that there, maybe around here. There we go. So it's a little bit tricky adding the transitions to the actual placeholder. I guess that's fine for now since it's the end. So we should have something that will look like that. It's super fast, like I said, but when we have the audio 
uh, enabled in the background, it's gonna look like this. So we're gonna go ahead and just go and select the text, go to the video inspector and go to the transform where you see scale, just bring that up a little bit, but not too much, that's a little bit too much. So like 112, it's gonna look something like that. So you can kind of hear a muffle. That's where you wanna go ahead and just cut that at that point. Select this part right here, go to the blur, go to the, you can do prism as well, but that looks pretty cool actually. So uh, for in this case, we're gonna do a Gaussian blur for now. Decrease that a little bit, but not too much though. Like right there is fine. Then we're gonna do the prism, which will give us that RGB retro look. And we can change the direction of this. I'm gonna move this probably like up like that. And you can increase or decrease the strength of that. I'm gonna increase it a lot. And you can change the angle here as well. So we have that. Now, it's still static. It still doesn't look like it's moving. So we're gonna add that handheld effect, like I said again. So we're gonna go to the stylize shakiness. I'm gonna, let's see how, let's see how that looks. Um, maybe increase it a little bit. There we go, so now if I render this out one more time, I think this should look good now, since I added or increased the shakiness effect in the handheld, right to there, and you can also increase the distance. When you increase the distance, the shakiness increases a lot more. So let's see. There you go, so now we're gonna go ahead and bring up the text here, and I'm also gonna copy this and paste it one more time. And I'm gonna drag this till the end of this clip here. We're gonna to go to the Gaussian blur and select that and drag it on here onto the text. It's gonna blur the whole thing, but just go to the end of that clip and change the amount. So right there, we're gonna go all the way to zero so you can still see it. And around the midpoint, a little bit like a third into the text there, we're gonna go ahead and add a keyframe to the amount. It should be at zero. Go to the end of that clip and bring it all the way up to like 50 or so. So now when I push play and I render this out, you wanna make sure that you render out your video or it's gonna play back really choppy. All right, so now if I push play, it's gonna look just like that. All right guys, so once you're at this step right here, you added the text and you imported it on top of here. You drag this out a little bit just like that. And you guys are probably wondering, well, what do I do with the text here? Or what do I do with the clip here? You just cut it right here. And once you're at this spot, we're gonna add a transition, kind of like a fade out effect. So we're gonna select this, we're gonna get rid of this right here and show you guys how to do it. So we're gonna go from say 50%, click the plus icon and then go here and drag this all the way out to 0%. So now if I push play, it's gonna look something like that. All right guys, so once we're at this step right here where we kind of faded out this clip, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this spot right here in between these two clips that we've cut. We're gonna add a blur and a transition to fade it out. So we're gonna go to the M transition zoom. We're gonna go ahead and just do the zoom in. We're gonna drag this into the text there. We're gonna go to blur and we're gonna go to Gaussian blur. And same thing right here at this spot, we're gonna change that. So select the clip and we're gonna have Gaussian blur. So we're gonna change that amount to 0%, click the plus icon, go to the end of that clip and bring this all the way back up to 50. So click enter and that will add another keyframe and it will look like this and it will blur out as it leaves the clip. Well, that's close enough right there. So we have something like this. We've increased the transition there. So now if I go ahead and push play and I play this from the beginning with the audio, this is what it should look like in a way, so. Sweet, so if you found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, comment down. That'd be awesome, guys, for any video ideas. Subscribe if you haven't, turn on the bell notification, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace out.